Hi, I'm Dominic and this is Dominic's Woodworks. Sometimes project ideas are hit and miss. This project turned out to be miss and hit. I started with a piece of oak and a piece of graphite to sketch out the idea I had. Into the closed shapes I drilled holes on the drill press. So I missed Valentine's Day. It was not actually a big deal, since my wife and I usually do not get each other anything, it's just a day like any other to us. But still... This is the thickest and also hardest stock I have ever cut on the scroll saw. And I have to say that I'm pleased with how the new saw performed. Otherwise, I imagine one heart or another would have been broken in the process. My wife had mentioned recently that she wanted a picture frame for her desk, and despite appearance, I can do subtle. In order to accommodate photos, I needed to route a groove around the four windows. I had imagined this to be a lot harder, trickier and with more pieces breaking off. As it turned out, it was not that hard to route this groove, which meant to route away the material between the windows completely. In order to make the inner edges of the piece more pleasing to hand and eye, I considered a round over bit, but that would have left me with corners to refine by hand. Instead, I used cheap carving knives or hobby knives to round over the edges. I like how this turned out for several reasons. It gave the piece a hand carved look, because it kinda was. And cutting created a very smooth surface that did not need much in terms of sanding, if any at all. After finishing the inner edges, I cut the whole thing out, aiming to leave enough material standing all around to support the back. Once that was done, I traced the groove as well as I could onto a piece of thin plywood and cut that out on the scroll saw as well. After taking a conservative stance on the first cut, I had to refine the shape several times to make it fit. I then gave the outer edge the same knife treatment Although it was a little trickier to find the right way to hold it in place without giving myself a callosectomy. In the end, the project went without bloodshed. I sanded over the remaining front face, but only with 180 grit. As a finish I chose beeswax, because I had that on hand. And of course I chose an overcomplicated application method, as usual. I used the hot air gun to melt the wax and a rag to apply it haphazardly to the wood. Then I used hot air again to melt the surplus wax into the wood or take it up with the rag. Getting all the wax on there with the hot air and the rag was not the, the most fun part of this project. And yes, I know that you can mix beeswax and linseed oil to make a finish that's more easily applied, but I like how it turned out and well, once you start smear wax on it, you just have to power through. This is the state I'll hand it over in. 
And as you probably guessed, the idea is to put pictures of our three kids in here, and I don't know who my wife would want in there. Uh, uh, just have to be a surprise. On a side note, I did not yet attach this back piece in any way, which is also because, well, it's got a good friction fit there. But I think once the pictures are in, I'll add two small nails and that'll keep it in place. I think if I were to do it again, I would sand the whole surface first, the, the front surface, as high as I want to go, or probably use a cut scraper for a better or faster effect, then cut out and assume in the process that every tear out or damage from the saw blade would get cut away with a knife. I hope you enjoyed that and, as usual, I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. Thanks for watching and, as always, remember to be inspired.